Since these Transformers reviews are just apparently a thing I'm doing now, let's take a look at something vaguely new. Slammer was released as part of the dying breath of the War for Cybertron Kingdom toy line. It's also one of those toys where they take something that didn't used to be a Transformer and turn it into one. In this case, he was originally the non-transforming tank that came with the original Metroplex. And since he was originally just a tank, let's start with that. His tank mode is quite charming. A nice update of the original whilst adding in a lot of modern detailing. Sure, it's basically just a small grey brick, but that's mostly what tanks are, and it's a very well-realised small grey brick. His turret can also move up and down a little bit, so that's something. Admittedly, the wheels he has underneath are incredibly stiff on mine, so he doesn't exactly roll well, but I can't say that's something I'll do with him often, so it doesn't really bother me. He's got some combat ports on the side, so you can upgun him if you want, but apart from that, there's not really much else to say about him. He is a tank, and he is shaped like a tank. Suppose I should probably transform him, eh? And when I say transform, I of course mean reduce him to his component parts and reconstitute him into a robot, since Slammer is a weaponizer, and that's just kind of par for the course. I don't mind this fairly extreme version of parts forming since it scratches a similar part of my brain to what LEGO does, but I understand if such a transformation isn't to everyone's taste. And here's Slammer's lovely new robot mode. I quite like it. That head is just so square, like, even in a franchise where square heads are common, this is especially cuboid. I do mean that in a good way. It complements the rest of his big blocky form, whose couple of splashes of colour, and by couple I mean literally two, pop out nicely against the sea of black, white and grey. Strangely, he doesn't seem to have full hands, just these tiny little mittens moulded into his forearms, which is likely a concession to the main gimmick of the toy, but it would have been nice if he had a little paint on there or something to make them stand out a bit. But I suppose who needs hands when you've got a giant wrist-mounted cannon? Slammer is pretty nice on the articulation front, considering everything else he has to do, able to strike an approximation of pretty much every pose I've thrown at him. Although he doesn't have proper feet, he does get a bit of ankle swivel due to his transformation, which helps give him a real solid base to stand on. You can even fully extend them to make him a little taller if he's feeling conscious about his height. My only real problem with this mode is that mine has a bit of a floppy joint in his torso. Like, he can still hold a pose just fine, but, you know, doesn't exactly scream quality. Now, the way I've been showing him is what could broadly be called his default mode from the promotional material, but due to the modular nature of the figure, there's options. Several parts from his backpack combine to make a chainsaw weapon you can mount on his arm, and personally, I quite like the look you get if you mount his gun on his backpack. But you can swap his bits around however you want. Neither Hasbro nor the police can stop you, no matter how godless your creations might be. Of course, like the other weaponizers, the big gimmick of the toy is that the parts he breaks down into can also be used on the other toys in the line, or indeed any you have that have 5mm ports or posts. So you can use him to add weapons or extra arms, or throw in all your other spare accessories and just get silly with it. I particularly like how the legs fold up into these neat missile pods. It was one of the things that initially attracted me to the figure, honestly. That and being able to attach legs to things that probably shouldn't have legs attached to them. Honestly, getting him has made me want to try and get the other weaponizers that I missed when they came out. I don't even like how COG looks, but I kinda want a COG now. But for the time being, Slammer is enough for me. He's fun to mess around with in his own right, but how he interacts with other figures is great fun and overshadows my few quibbles which are mostly wishing the QA department at Hasbro were paid a little more. And hey, I managed to go the entire video without referencing Pogs even once! You know, because cause slammers were the things that you hit pogs with. I'm not very good at writing the ends of videos, okay?